That was Dirty Trash with Stinky Stinky here on Yank It or Crank It. Let's take those phone calls. Arnaz, we can't wait here any longer for your song to come on the radio. My mom's plan already landed, and Spirit and I promised we'd be home to meet them. Yeah, but the DJ said he was going to play it today. Why? To test the Baltimore emergency evacuation system? It's all right. We've saved the best for last. Shh. They're introducing the next song. Get ready to crank this from the hometown crew known as Zonra. Revolution! Oh, man, I can't believe this. Wait, guys, 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 hold up. This is the hottest jam all day, and I've already got a yank call. What idiot would yank this? Who are you calling an idiot? Mom, yeah, hey, girl, I'm gonna have to call you back. <laughs> Sometimes at the start, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one near. When there's nobody around uh, oh yeah. I'll be back to take a land What a true life we are Baby, you can get to the floor Maybe one, no, one, one, uh, one, one yeah. Can't nobody break this bond yeah. Maybe one, no, one, 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 would have been here a half hour ago if your father wasn't late picking us up. Oh, fall back, Nicole. How was I supposed to know your broom would arrive early? Ah, <laughs> uh, anger and frustration. Perfect for Brianna's graduation documentary. <laughs> now, you guys just keep it real and act like I'm not here. How do you think I survived these trips? <laughs> Where is that girl? Now, she was at Arnez's. I'm sure she's on her way. Oh, you think she'll be here to meet her baby sister. But no, you let her stay up in that boy's apartment. You know what? If I were here, I would give her a piece of my... Baby! Oh, thank you so much. Jane says hi, but I have somebody I want you to meet. Angela, this is your big sis. Oh, hi, boo bear. So nice to finally meet you. <laughs> oh, excuse me, people. If you want to capture the reality of Brianna's graduation, I'm going to need better performances. I mean, that baby is just phoning it in. Poke it or something. <laughs> okay, now that everybody is here, I have a big announcement to make. Okay. I've decided what college I'm going to. <laughs> Finally, you've been keeping us waiting forever. <laughs> okay, I'm going to the University of Maryland. Yes! Yes! Oh, congratulations, baby. Oh, we'll all be standing together. You'll be at U of M, I'll be at Maryland School of Design, and Arnaz, you'll be... What will you be doing, Arnaz? <laughs> Rockin'. <laughs> baby, what about Cal Arts? You were raving about their drama program. Well, I thought about it, and since they're both really good schools, and Arnaz is about to be a huge rock star here in Baltimore... Rockin'. <laughs> I just decided to stay here and be with my boo. That's right, baby. Uh-huh. I'm so happy for you. Mm. All right, hey, 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 I'm more happy than that spit. Come on. <laughs> Uh-oh, Brianna, I think I smell a dirty diaper. Okay, I'll change her. Come on, let's go show her my room. <laughs> hey, Arnez, when we have a baby, do you think it'll look more like me or more like you? Either way, it'll be cute <laughs> and fun to make. <laughs> Flex, what is going on around here? Brianna's talking about having babies, making out in front of us, and throwing away an opportunity to go to California to stay here with a dummy. Hey, don't drag me into this. You out. Uh, uh, all right, everybody, let's, let's take a five. Now, Flex, we have got to do something about Brianna and Arnez before they end up like us. Two miserable 18-year-olds with a baby. Hey, only one of us was miserable, and it wasn't you. <laughs> Stop worrying. I know my daughter. She's a responsible young adult. Flex, this is important. She needs to focus on an education and not a boy. Do you remember how tough it was for us, not knowing if we were going to make it? Yeah, we didn't. Exactly. That's why we need to make sure that she goes to Cal Arts, away from Arnez. We? Oh, we can't tell him what to do. I got $8,000 in therapy bills saying that's a new new. <laughs> okay, fine. Then I'll talk to him. Arnez isn't going to listen to you. 
Nobody listens to you. I didn't start listening to you until a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> if anybody should talk to him, it should be me. All right, so just relax. No. I, I, I got it. All right. And now, a rare sister-to-sister -sister moment <laughs> where the uh, nice, sweet, new girlfriend meets the not-so-nice, not-so-sweet, and definitely not-so-new ex-wife. I'm going to shove that kid. Nicole! Nicole! Hi! Hi! I'm Danielle. <laughs> I wanted to welcome you with a cake, but I was so nervous about meeting you. Well, I... Will half a cake do? <laughs> It'll do very nicely. Thank you. Uh, Nicole, uh, this is Danielle. Uh, she's the reason why Brianna and I are getting along so well. <laughs> I was their therapist. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So now the whole therapy thing makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> you spent a long time on the couch, did you, Flex? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, you're going down, Daddy. Hello? Well, have you talked to Arnez yet? I am bonding with my child. It's not the right time. <laughs> In your face, bunk! <laughs> I, I mean, Daddy. Flex! Flex! <laughs> Have you talked to our dad yet? <laughs> it's not the right time! It's five o'clock in the morning. What are you? Watch out for that car. But... Never mind. <laughs> uh -oh. Baby names: Brandon Ballard, Kobe Ballard, <laughs> Brittany Ballard, Ballard Three Thousand. <laughs> oh, now's the right time. Talk to Arnez yet? I was on my way to do that right now. Uh, wh where's your baby? Don't worry about the baby. <laughs> Angela? <laughs> Thanks, dude. Yo, check this. I just talked to my promoter buddy. He heard our song on the radio. Said he wants to book us for summer gigs as soon as Charlie gets back in town, dude. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I feel the same way, bro. <laughs> hey, Mr. Washington. Um, Brianna's not here. I know. <laughs> so, uh, what do you want, Mr. Washington? You know, I've been thinking on this. It's been really great having Brianna here. But wouldn't a school in Hollywood be better for her career? I mean, I suppose, but Brown's already made up her mind. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. But uh, just had this crazy... You, you know what? Nah, that's, that's all right. That's all right. Well, what? Yeah, I, I was just thinking maybe you could talk to her. Nah, that's, that's too crazy. Man. You, you don't have that kind of influence over her, so I'm just tripping. My... Yes, I do. <laughs> I mean, I wear the pants in this relationship. <laughs> I can convince her that we need to go to California. I can convince the guys in the band, too. Fitzy's always talking about Roscoe's chicken and waffles. Oh, right, right, right. The band, the band. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd hate to see you guys give up all that success here, you know? You'd have to go to L.A. where nobody knows you and start all over. You'd be a small fish in a big pond. Unlike here, where you'd be a big fish in a small pond. Hmm. Big fish, small fish. Okay, what does Dr. Seuss have to do with this? Wow. <laughs> what to do, what to do. Hmm. Zonra could be huge here. <laughs> yeah, it's always been my dream. Yeah, I know, and it's always been Brianna's dream to be a great actress. I mean, I wonder how you could do both. Think, Flex, think. <laughs> how could Brianna go to California to follow her dream and you stay here in Baltimore to follow your dream? I got an idea. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, all right. Even though the plan was for Brianna and I to stay together, uh -huh. what if she went to California to follow her dream and then I stayed... 
Shoot, where was I going with this? <laughs> I, I think what you were gonna say was, Brianna could go to California and you stay here in Baltimore. Yeah, that's it! <laughs> Yeah. Lord knows, there's plenty of room. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, are they? Yeah. It's all you, yeah. baby. Yeah. All you, all in here. One day before graduation, 24 hours before the rest of her life begins, what will her future hold? What will she put on her sandwich. Where will she shack Dwayne if he doesn't get that camera away from her? Come in. Oh, hey, boo. Brianna, we need to talk. Uh, Dwayne, do you mind? Oh, you want me to get this all on video? Uh, yeah, we can take it from your exit. <laughs> Edgy. I like it. Hey, so what's with the bread? The market was out of flowers, but this smelled good, too. <laughs> Ooh, and this French, how romantic. <laughs> All right, Brianna, I know you decided on Maryland, but I've been giving this a lot of thought, and I really think that Cal Arts is a better school for you. Ooh, baby, you know I love the idea of California. You finally getting that tan you always wanted. But I chose Maryland because I was taking off. Yeah, I was thinking about that, too. And I really think that I should stay here in Baltimore with the band while you go to Cal Arts. I mean... I'd rather be a one fish, two fish than a red fish, blue fish. <laughs> in the big purple pond. Wait, hold up. Are you talking about us being apart? Because I thought the plan was always for us to be together no matter what. We'll still be together in spirit, but without spirit. <laughs> oh, so it's we now. Well, where were we when you made the decision to send me off to California? Look, Arnez, long distance relationships never work. So if you want to be apart, then we'll be apart. Mom, Dad, I'm going to California. Uh, Brianna! Look, Ar Arnez. Well, oh, Arnez, it'll be okay, baby. Oh, God. Yes! <laughs> now, that is what I'm talking about. I gotta hand it to you, Flex. I didn't think you could do it, but you really pulled it off. Well, Nicole, I didn't mean for them to break up. Bonus! <laughs> she is our daughter. Didn't you see how sad she was? Oh, come on now, Flex. I know this is hard, but we should be proud. We are sending our baby off to college with no rings and no babies. We did the right thing. How could you be so cold? I thought Africa would thaw you out. <laughs> Nicole, you ever been to a high school graduation without a baby? <laughs> Make all the jokes you want, Flex. At least my baby will be walking down the aisle with her head held high instead of worrying about her water breaking. Yeah, instead she'll be worried about her heart breaking. Look, Flex, don't mess this up. We are almost at the finish line. Although you never were much of a finisher. <laughs> I hope you worked on that in therapy. <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you what I like to work on. Don't stop me. Oh, oh, this is nice. You told me what I love it. Kodak to... right moment! Smile. <laughs> oh, look, there's our next. It sure would be nice if you could go over there and talk to him. Yeah, you know what else would be nice? Free shoes, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Big day, huh? Compared to yesterday? Not really. It seems like that was your call. I'm not the one who broke us up. Look, I don't want to talk about this here. Why not? Why not tell everybody what a bad boyfriend I am? You mean what a bad boyfriend you were? Look, you already ruined my life. You're not about to ruin my graduation. This is supposed to be a happy time. And what does one do during happy times? They be happy! <laughs> I'm sorry, Arnez. I know this isn't how you wanted your high school years to end. I didn't want to break up. I thought I was doing what's best for the both of us. This sucks. My two best friends have broken up, and I'm stuck in the middle. Spirit, this isn't about you. <laughs> Is it ever? <laughs> I 
Nicole, I hope we did the right thing. Ah, don't go soft on me now, Flex. Being a parent is about being tough, holding your ground, and not letting your emotions get the best of you. Oh, my baby! Oh, oh, I love you so much! Mommy's so proud of you. Kisses! Uh, oh, I know. <laughs> Our little Brianna's all grown up. <laughs> yeah, but that's not why I'm crying. I was just thinking about my graduation and how I needed two chairs to sit on. And help getting up the stairs. Oh, uh, well, you know, Nicole needed help getting up the steps, too. <laughs> Graduates, this is your time to celebrate a rite of passage. Each and every Spirit, graduate where are here your today parents? has enriched the life oh. of this school. Over there, you see that cloud of smoke? <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. <laughs> and now a word from this year's Cicely Tyson Award recipient, Brianna Barnes. Thank you. High school. What a journey, huh? I like to say that the last four years have prepared us for the real world, but the reality is every day will bring us new surprises, and we will meet them head on. So let us not look at today or yesterday <laughs> as the end of something great, but as the beginning of something greater. Remember, life is what happens when your boyfriend is dumping you. Thank you. You dumped me! Shut up! You didn't win a Cicely Tyson Award! You didn't even win the Mike Tyson Award! <laughs> Leroy Ballard. Oh, you should hurry up before they change their mind. Oh, no, wait, that's what you do. <laughs> Brianna Latrice Barnes. Whoa! was the smartest thing I ever did. <laughs> oh, you mean Brianna? <laughs> oh, happy, happy, yes, happy. <laughs> Look here, girlfriend to girlfriend. Tell Ray, me what Flex said Alan about me in therapy. Bolton. Oh, no, I I'm afraid I can't tell you that. But you are much nicer than I thought you'd be. <laughs> Flotillo, Spirit, Freedom, Jones. Very proud of the both of you. <laughs> and the boy, too. Speaking of which, Arnez! No, no, go away. Don't call him up. I, 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 tut, tut. I want to get a photo of the three of you. It's for the DVD cover. <laughs> Arnez, come on now. <laughs> All right, everybody stand over here by the banner. <laughs> the graduates, look at. <laughs> what? Come on, kids, what is this? I mean, where's, where's the camaraderie? Where, where's the love? Uh, show me the love and I'll show you the money. <laughs> <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Look at her. She should be happy on her graduation day. She's smiling. Yeah, through her pain, she gets that smile from me, and I wore it on our wedding day. <laughs> ha ha. N Nicole, if Brianna finds out about this, she's gonna hate us for the rest of our lives. Look, if that's the price we have to pay for her having a good life, then it'll be worth it. That's easy for you to say. You're used to people hating you. <laughs> Listen, I'm leaving tomorrow, so I'm gonna tell you this now. Your job is to keep your mouth shut. You just make sure she gets on that plane to California and don't screw it up, or I'm coming back. Uh, if that's the case, I'm gonna make sure she's on that plane. If it's the last thing I do, because I don't want to hear your mouth. Thank you. I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. Very all right? That's all just I want. Feed the baby. She ain't eat all day. 
internet, no television, no telephone. I don't even want to hear you telling it on the mountain, girl. You are grounded. But, Daddy, I had to help our nest. He was having a family crisis. Yeah, and you had a boy in your room, and you didn't tell me. Oh, hey, guys, come on in. Uh, what is this? What, Daddy? I can't help it if the mountain came to me. <laughs> Mountains or boulders? <laughs> You're showing off is giving me a headache. Then maybe you should take an aspirin and wash it down with a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry guys. Look, I can't laugh or talk, but I could look if you want to, you know, pull up your shirt again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? By the way, I forgot. No flirting. You grounded for two weeks. Two weeks? I don't have any other friends. You're punishing me too. Well, I'm sure you have done something to deserve it. Your clothes, for example. <laughs> yes, Britt. Maybe you should. Pack out your clothes more carefully. Boy, I've been working on the muscle, too. It's my foot muscle. Now get out. Daddy, this is cruel and unusual punishment. I should call child services. Uh, you could if you could use the phone. Now go to your room. <sighs> Hello? What? I do not want to hang out and braid each other's hair. What part of no other friends don't you understand? <laughs> Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself. Yeah, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. Our tour of the barber shop. Don't feed the barber because they might try to follow you home. <laughs> and if the barbers don't follow you home, then the rats will. Candy, we do not have rats. Oh, yeah. We don't have roaches either. Uh, don't listen to her, Mr. Adams. Uh, all the fumes from her nail polish sometimes make her delusional. She even think that's her real hair. <laughs> anyway, my client is very wealthy. Now, he'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Now, he wants to finalize this deal in 24 hours. So you'll be hearing from me. All right. <laughs> Candy, why are you trying to sabotage this deal? Well, you know what, Flex? I can't help it. You know, I don't want to lose the barbershop. <clears throat> hey, Walt. Yeah. Walt, you, you OK? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, without the shop, I don't know where to hold my weekly poker game. Did my dad know about that? <laughs> Did I say poker? <laughs> Man, I'm at Monopoly. <laughs> I know the universe has a grand plan for all of us. But until it reveals itself, what are we gonna do? <laughs> hey, hey, look, don't, don't worry. You guys are talented, hard-working barbers. Well, thank you. That's yeah. the point there, bro. You find other jobs. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> Who's classic 63 Porsche that parked out front? Oh, my bad, that's mine. <laughs> You like that, bro? Oh, my bad. It's my little brother, Kev. Kev, that's Ace, and that's Manny. They're new here. But I'm from America. I sing God Bless America right now. Dios bendiga mi America. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, come on. Yo, man, be tripping, man. What are you doing here? I thought you were on the uh, Monsters of Rap tour cutting hair with Hypnotic and Be Exotic. Well, I was, but I ran into Moms and Pops in Atlantic City. They were in line to see Stu Ross. Lou Ross' brother, the magician. Oh, uh, Anyway, Pops told me you were selling the shop. I'm here to take it off your hands. Oh, if you take over the shop, did you tell Dad that? Well, I told him, and he said no, but Dad is getting old anyway. We should put him in a home. <laughs> hey, now, listen, I have to do what Pops tells me to do. But Flex, I'm family. Oh, now we family. Three years ago, we were the people standing in the way of your success. You remember that? Y'all are the people standing in the way of my success. <laughs> now I'm out of here. I got a chance to go on tour with Cisco. With the kind of heat he got, I may never be back. 
Relax, you're exaggerating, man. You got more stories than the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Y'all know I've been there. I got some keychains. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Let's show. Hey, yo, Kev, you must be uh, in town for the new Hypnotic concert, right? All right, well, I'm gonna need two tickets for me and my girl and two tickets to Scout. Oh, you don't have a girl, baby. <laughs> what you think I need the scalping money for? I'll take two tickets, because those hot dogs at the stadium are delightful. <laughs> Yo, look, look, I'm retired, man. Life is too short to be away from loved ones. I want to be somewhere where people care, you know? A place where everybody knows your hair. Oh, nice, man. Man. I'm not even buying it, man. It's just like you to come and want to take over the shop when it's convenient for you. Flex, man, you can't sell the barbershop. It's in the family. That's what we've been trying to tell him. That this is not just a business. This is our home. Our job. Our exercise. Our work release program. <laughs> Flex, I can't believe you're not gonna sell me the barbershop. It's my birthright. Well, I was born before you, which means I have the right to do whatever I want. <laughs> Dwayne to escort me home from school to keep me from hanging out with my friends. Uncle Kevin! My little ah! Brace <laughs> Is your daddy treating you okay? He grounded me, Uncle Kevin. Can I come live with you? Oh, sure, you want to go live with Uncle Kevin? I'll take you in myself. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, we're here. Hey, Spirit, why are you here? I didn't come with her. I came over here with Dwayne. Nobody said I couldn't be his friend. All right, Spirit, you have overstayed your welcome. Why don't you go make some earrings out of fish hooks or something? What's up, little D? Oh, uh, did you say something, Flex? Or was that the ghost of bad haircuts pants? <laughs> oh, come on, Dwayne. I was 10 years old. I was just starting to cut heads. Because of you, I became a master barber. And because I was the guinea pig in your experiment, I have to wear a hat to this day. Go on, Dwayne Sean. Ma no. <laughs> come on. Does it still swell up in the rain? That's for following me home. Uh, what? <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> oh, it's nice to see you guys laugh for a change. Look, Flex, I want that barbershop. Now, I'm your baby brother. I know what Pop said, but at least give me a chance to buy it. Kev, yeah, man, I, I have a buyer who wants to close by noon tomorrow. I can match his offer. Kev, yeah, this is like the time you wanted me to co-sign with your credit card. Man, you maxed out on one purchase. A three-finger gold nugget ring, Kevin. Wh wh where's the ring? Where's the ring? <laughs> I mean, it, it got played out, so I melted it down to some gold fronts. <laughs> Kev, you are too impulsive. You don't think things through. I and mean, you're always changing your mind. And when something better comes along, you, you, you're gone without thinking about how it affects other people. Look, I'm older now, Flex. Like, give me a chance. When did you become so hard? Look at me, brother to brother. I want to do this. All right, I'm gonna give you a chance to come up with the money by noon tomorrow like you said you could. If not, I'm selling the shop. Don't let me down, brother. All right, deal. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> 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 you don't want to You don't want to They're gonna build a space station on the moon. Then they're gonna launch from there to Mars. Oh, man, a brother can make a fresh start on Mars. Sand, open up a little casino. <laughs> Let you them dice roll real right in zero gravity. Well, I'm staying right here. Have we black folks learned nothing from getting on ships and not knowing where they're going? Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? <laughs> now, before y'all go pat me on my back and everything, I, I want y'all to know I bruise easy. Oh. Ah. <laughs> what you talking about, Kev? I'm talking about us, behind the barbershop together as co-owners. Wow. Oh, yeah. That is no bad. Yeah. Now, the question is, how much do y'all have to invest? <laughs> Well, let me check my portfolio. Mm. I'm gonna go and put it back and let it collect some more interest. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry about it, Candy. We can just take out a small business loan. And don't worry about all the closing fees, because I got that. Just run through a little talking. small credit check, and we in. We're yeah. out. <laughs> I don't worry about it, I'll come up with another way. Hello, all, Septim. 
Oh, hello, my little Swiss miss. Mm. <laughs> Swiss miss. That's right. I'm his tall, hot cup of cocoa. Uh -huh. And she's my Yoda lady boo. <laughs> Candy is your girl? Baltimore needs me back. Matt, Baltimore needs you back like I need another hole in my head. Look, I don't have time to be trading insults with a used car salesman. When I can be doing business with a used car salesman. Dwayne, are you getting taller? A little. <laughs> Excuse me, Candy. Now, how would you like your pockets to get fat? I'm looking to sell my Porsche. I heard you just a man to do it. Well, I should be able to get you a fair and reasonable market price for your vehicle. <laughs> man, where is he? Mr. Washington, I believe this is a fair offer on your establishment. Whoa, <laughs> that's, that's a very generous offer, Mr. Adams, but... Uh, we need a little more time. See, there's another interested party, and uh, it happens to be family. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, did I mention the buyer has a family-owned business? So they understand the importance of family. And so do the people down at the Lord Hair Mercy Beauty Salon. Man, what am I doing? I mean, he's already an hour late. See, this, this is the three-finger ring all over again. Listen, Flex, if family means that much to you, just give Kevin a little bit more time, please. I don't know Kevin that well. In fact, not at all. But, but I trust him. I don't think he's gonna let us down. But then again, I get hurt a lot. <laughs> okay, now I see what's going on. You're stalling. I tell you what, I am authorized to go up another 10%. I I'm sorry, guys, he should have been here an hour ago. Mr. Adams, you have yourself a deal. Yeah, you're doing the right thing. Good news, Flex, I got the... No! <laughs> Flex, please, please don't tell me you just did what I think you did. Hey, Kev, I said noon, but I didn't hear from you. I was trying to get the money together, but I have it now. It's too late. Deal is signed. Flex, how could you do this to me? Hey, you knew what time you had to be here. It's not my fault. I can't stand here causing a rift between two brothers. So I'll just leave. Good day. <laughs> Flex, I sold my Porsche to get the down payment. Why didn't you wait for me? No offense, Kev, but you don't have the best track record. Look, man, I sold the shop for five times what it's worth. Mom and Dad would never, ever have to worry about having enough money again. Thanks for your support. I gotta go for a walk now, because I don't have a ride. <laughs> so what's going to happen now? I don't know. Hey, yo, I wonder if we can win the shop back in a high-stakes poker game. Don't you mean Monopoly game? You don't own this place no more. <laughs> poker, poker, poker. <laughs> Come on, Bree Bree. Turn me on. <laughs> but I can't. Daddy said not to. How's he gonna know? He's taking a nap. <laughs> if a TV turns on in a forest and no daddy is around, is it really on? Huh? <laughs> Just turn me on. <laughs> Oh, hey, Daddy, just doing a little dusting. Ah, ah, still cold. That's my baby. <laughs> hey, Brianna, want to go for a ride in my Porsche? You know the one I bought back from Dwayne for an extra $500? I had your car for 15 minutes feet. <laughs> okay, can I, Daddy? Could you tell your uncle it's not my fault that he was too late, and that's why I had to sell the shop? <laughs> Oh, so you think you got it all together, don't you, Flex? Well, if you did, you wouldn't have had to sell the shop in the first place, and you could have run it and kept it in the family. Selling the shop was not only a good family decision, but it was a good business decision. Oh, since when did Flex, the TV jock, become such a savvy businessman? Oh, I get it. You, you, you're jealous. You're jealous <laughs> because I'm a popular, handsome, local celebrity who's about to go national, and you are just a portable barber who was out cutting Cisco the dragon's hair, but he turned into a lizard. <laughs> I'm so glad to see that you two are talking to each other now. Oh, group hug. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just go to my room then. Me? Jealous of you? What do I have to be jealous of? Your lame sign off? I mean, am I the only one that knows Flat App is just the name of your pet frog? <laughs> and by the way, I'm the one that set him free. Flat App. <laughs> Leaving, huh? I'm going to 
going to the home with Grandma Barnes. It's Jell-O Cup night. <laughs> Kev, I know you're upset about what happened, man, but, but come on. You didn't really want to run a barbershop. It's not you. Next thing you know, you'll be quitting and heading back out on the road. I don't know about all that. Oh, why do you say that? Well, I mean, no artist is going to want to hire me after they find out why Hypnotic fired me. Have you were fired? Actually, it was suggested at gunpoint that I take a leave of absence. <laughs> Kev, what did you do? Nothing. I just cut his ear. You cut his ear? <laughs> it was the tip of it. I mean, you don't even need that part. <laughs> I mean, his girl had a little thing for me, and I tried to brush it off, but, I mean, you know how things is with me and you. Yeah. Now, look at me. Imagine me three weeks ago. <laughs> Should have seen me three weeks ago, you know what I'm saying? It's my bad, it's your story. <laughs> anyway, while I was tightening Hypnotic up, his girlfriend, Shantae, brushed all that up against me suggestively. Things just went bad from there. Because of that, Hypnotic won't pay me my 20 G's he owed me for the last two months. 20 G's? Yeah, that's why I was counting on a barbershop. I know Hypnotic is dogging me to all the other rappers. Till that all dies down, I don't got nowhere to go. Sure you do, man. And you can always come home. And you got your 20 G's because the Barnes brothers, we gonna get your money. Me and you? That's right. I mean, Hypnotic is a businessman. I'm sure once we lay things out for him, he'll see things our way. <sighs> These rappers ain't the Sugar Hill Gang flex. <laughs> I mean, Hypnotic and his boys is dangerous. Huh? I mean, they will beat you down. <laughs> they tough. <laughs> Maybe we should do some push-ups before we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's, let's pray on it, too. Let's... <laughs> Well, if it ain't Jack the Clipper, what you want? Uh, hello, Mr. Hypnotic. How you doing, bruh? I'm, uh, Kevin's big brother. You might recognize me. I'm, uh, Baltimore's number one sportscaster. Flex, l let me, let me handle this. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> we come to talk about the money you owe. Well, then, by all means, I'll try. <laughs> What's up, Shantae? Keeping your brother's money. I know he told you what he did to me. Did he check my ear for what? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, he said he just nicked the tip of your ear. I'm sure it's healed by now. And plus, me cutting your ear gave you your look. I mean, look, everybody rocking the bandana. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah. so, so if you just cut my brother a check, man, we'll get out of your hair. I am unamused by your facetious banner. Yeah, I said facetious. What? <laughs> Hypnotic, look, Kevin cutting your ear was an accident. And it's not his fault your girl was pushing up on him. She was doing what? You was pushing up on him, Shantae? Baby, I'm sorry. I forgive you, baby. Go give me some groupers. <laughs> so you mess around with my girl, too, huh? Check this out, homie. We can handle this like gentlemen, or we can get straight gangster with it. I vote for gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen, too. <laughs> Like the punk I thought you were. Uh, uh, hold up, you just called my little brother a punk? Oh, we can get gangster, man. Uh, uh, we, we know that. We know that. <laughs> Look, I'm not a gangster. I'm a grown man. I don't need you, hypnotic. I don't need this job. All I need is two things: my pride and a chain to make up for the money you owe me. What chain? That one do just fine. Run! <laughs> I'm gonna miss this place, guys. Yeah. Hey, y'all, am I wrong to assume that if anything turns up missing flex, you use it as a tax write-off? <laughs> hey, what are y'all doing? <laughs> what you mean, what am I doing? I'm not stealing nothing if that's what you imply. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be a good idea. I don't think your new manager would like it. No, I wouldn't. Huh? <laughs> well, my big brother hooked it up with Mr. Adams this morning. The new owner agreed to keep me on as transitional manager for a year. And I get to pick my own staff. Now, I know some people. Oh! <laughs> now, y'all get back to work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
I, I said, where y'all going? Y'all got work to do. Oh, it's lunchtime. Oh, you got so much to learn. But don't worry, Candy can teach you. <laughs> <laughs> well, little brother, this is what you wanted. <sighs> yeah. Feels good to be home. Coming at you from Westside Stadium with the little homies oh, and the homettes of summer, this is Flex Washington, WYNX Sports, opening day in Little League Baseball. And I'm brushing its teeth, tucking it in, and putting this story to bed. Until next time, la da oh. What flew out of your mouth, a Tic Tac or a tooth? It was a Tic Tac attached to a tooth. Dad, you get no. Your reflexes are gone. There's nothing wrong with my... Then quit. Ah, you like that, right, shorty? All right, check this out. Steve Young to Jerry Rice. Uh -uh, I'm Keyshawn Johnson. Pass me the ball and buy my book. <laughs> okay, okay, go left, go left. All right, go, go right, go right, go right. All right, go deep, go deep, go deeper. While you by the fridge, grab me a Code 45. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Man, you always messing with me. What you gonna do when I'm gone? I'm gonna go back to leave my drawers on the floor. Go back to? They've been there so long, I thought they were little area rugs. So you funny, ain't you? Look at you, my little boo-boo. I'm gonna miss you, man. Me too. Dad, you ever think about moving from Baltimore to Atlanta so we can hang out like this all the time? Yeah, I think about it a lot. I also think about your mother living there. Then I get over it. Hello? Oh, hey, Sandrella, how you doing, baby? <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, hold on. Uh, sweetie, daddy needs some privacy. Uh, Brianna needs a 20. Look, here's a dollar and I'll write you a check for the rest. I'm not taking one of your checks. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm sorry we haven't had a chance to hook up. Yeah. Just like I said, you know, when my daughter's in town, <laughs> my pants are <aren't> down. <laughs> and I'm behind your back, and all your pickup lines are whack. <laughs> I got it. Surprise! Mom, what are you doing here? Hey, uh oh, Shadrella, I gotta go. It's my ex wife. I guess Lucifer left the gate open. <laughs> I wish I had time to stay and hear your little Def Jam routine. I'm just here to pick up my daughter. But, Mom, I had one more day with Dad. I know, sweetie, but I wanted to surprise you and deliver this wonderful news I have in person. You got to sit down for this one. Okay. Baby, you remember when I applied for that PhD grant to study aquatic mammals and other marine life? Uh, the one where you count whales? Oh, that should be real easy for you. Weren't you raised by whales? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I got the grant. Yay! We're going to Nova Scotia for a whole year. Yay! <laughs> you ain't yan. Well, Mom, when you first mentioned this, I looked Nova Scotia up online. And they ain't online. You know what? There's an endangered species up there. Uh, what do you call them? Oh, yeah. Black people. You know, Daddy's right. I should stay here with him. Oh. Which daddy said that? Well, we just said how much we're gonna miss each other and that two weeks a year isn't enough. Yeah, but daddy talk too much. <laughs> and you really want to stay here? Mom, daddy and I are gonna be just fine. Look, Nicole, you've done a really great job with her for 14 years. I can at least do it for one. It's my turn. Okay, okay. I'm not sure about this, but I'm a fair person. I'm willing to give it a try. Now, how about you and I get some dinner together? Cool, let me get my jacket. Okay, baby. All right, Flex, here's your chance to get out of it. <laughs> Save a little face. I'll just tell Brianna that I changed my mind and she's coming with me. Because you and I both know, you can't go five minutes between booty calls. Okay, first of all, I can take care of my daughter. And second of all, you are wrong about that booty call thing, hmm? Hello, this is Flex. If you're ready to get freaky, press one. What happens when you press two? Sometimes in the sky, you can feel all by yourself. Check one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself. 
Three in the morning playing Sega. I slept till noon and I bet you didn't make your bed. No, I didn't. That's my girl. <laughs> uh, why make your bed? When, when you, you just gonna, gonna get, get back in. in. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I can't believe it's gonna be this much fun for a whole year. That's right. No rules. Just fun, baby. Uh, what's for breakfast? Uh. Oh, Snickers bar. <laughs> yeah, just dip it in some applesauce to get your vitamin C. <laughs> Sure, operator. I'll accept the charges. Is that Daryl Strawberry calling me from rehab? No, it's an NFL player calling me from prison. Hang up. <laughs> Say it ain't so, dog. Say it ain't so. Say it. Uh, Dwayne, what do you want, man? You gotta make this quick, because I got a live remote in an hour. Uh, hey, Dwayne. Oh, hey, sweetie. Hey, that's my goddaughter. <laughs> man, I can't believe that little crumb snatcher is still here. <laughs> then how did you hear about it? Man, your dad came down to the used car lot complaining about an old truck that I sold him. Man, what part of as is does he not understand? Well, you lucky he left your butt as is. Man, me, man, what about you? Your ex-wife just comes, drops her off for a year, you not even getting any. You must be whipped from the memory of it. No, 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 hold on, man. You're supposed to be my boy. All right, I'm Flex Washington. I'm unwhippable. All right, now. All right? Although I don't mind being tied up sometimes. Watch yourself, you know? watch <laughs> Man, all I am saying is we are in our sexual prime, man. That little girl is gonna bust up our flow. Our flow? You mean the flow where I pick up the fine women and you scoop up their drunk, ugly friends? Hey, man, <laughs> ugly girls are loyal, all right? All I'm saying is you were getting in way over your head. Oh, man, I got this covered. This father thing is easy. I got a great job that's flexible. I don't have to be in the studio all the time, and when I'm on the road, my parents can babysit. And if I don't have them, I always got you. <laughs> Listen to my mama years ago. Eunice, you're overreacting. No, Richard, you're overheating. Who are you flirting with this time, pal? The deli girl at the Safeway. Oh, I saw you looking at her. Not true. That was just a peek. Oh, please. Look. <laughs> peek. Ma, Dad, what are y'all doing here? Just think of us as your social workers. Hey, baby, hey. Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> Are you sure? You look like you're losing weight. And who put that outfit on you? Child looks like she's running from soap and water. Uh, look, look, look. Y'all have your way of raising children. I have mine. Go run that girl a bath. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yo, yo, flex, flex, man. It is two for one night over at Peanuts. There's gonna be some angry secretaries getting their drink on. Is that all you think about? Women, alcohol. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. All right, let me hear <laughs> Hey, Dad, Dad, come on. Could you do me a favor? Could you watch Brianna for me tonight? The women of Baltimore are crying my name. Don't you hear them? Flex, 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 flex. <laughs> Flex, nobody is crying for you. Now, you've got a daughter to raise. Look look at this place. You need to make some changes around here. Well, like that motorcycle. Now, that's got to go. Uh, my, the ladies love that motorcycle. It doesn't even work. Trust me, it works. <laughs> and another thing, what about school? Uh, Shots, her teeth. Your mother's got a point, son. I'm looking at $5,000 worth of crooked right here. You know, your lack of faith disturbs me. This is my baby. And I love her. There is nothing about this that I can't handle. I think I look cute in a thong. I can't handle this. <laughs> you just made something that could be so beautiful so wrong. Ooh, teddies. I'll be back in a minute. Hi. Here's a pamphlet on father-daughter bra shopping. Oh, good, because I'm looking for a bra that a teenage boy can't take off. <laughs> Ooh, do you guys get paid off commission? No. Good, because I want her to help me. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to see something in a red bra and panties. Okay. 
preferably you. <laughs> Does that work for you ever? Well, it works better here than at Home Depot. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you the sports guy from WYNX? That at Flex Washington. <laughs> so, uh, can I get your phone number? Um, I, I don't have a pen. All I have is this lipstick. Well, uh, all I have is this. Write it on my heart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, like, are you really gonna call me Mr. Flat App Guy? <laughs> <laughs> right before I take a bath. <laughs> Excuse me, who are you? Oh, I'm Tanya, and who do you belong to? I'm with Flat App. Dad, let's go. Well, look, it was nice meeting you. No, it was nice meeting you, and if you had any more room left on your chest, I'd give you my cell number, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got plenty of room on my back. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy. And I'm glad this day is over. I was over at the University of Maryland at a football game. I got into a fight with the mascot. Yeah. Matt, well, at least we have our dates with Sonya and Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mine's ugly, right? No doubt. Cool, cool, cool. Uh-uh, girl, it's all computers. That is not D'Angelo's body. That's his head on Tyson's body. Brianna, when you're watching the D'Angelo video, you better not be looking below the neck. <laughs> now, I'll tell your friend bye-bye. Yeah, that's my dad, Leslie. He's been tripping about this phone. Girl, what's your email address? Give me that phone. <laughs> so, guys, what we doing tonight? Chilling or clubbing? Well, actually, I have to stay here and work. But uh, you get to go have the time of your life at the racetrack with Grandma and Grandpa. It's post time. <laughs> okay, now that's them. I'll see you tomorrow, buddy. Come on. But, Dad, you know what it's like going to the racetrack with Grandma and Grandpa. They get tapped out by the six race, and then they take your hot dog money. <laughs> All right, here's the extra five. Hide it. Oh! <laughs> Look who's here. Uh, Dad, did you say you have to work or work it? Hey, Tanya, Sonya, uh, this is my buddy Dwayne. Dwayne. Ladies, 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 ladies. <laughs> if you are Tanya, you must be Sonya. I think I detect a hint of lazy eye, good looking out. <laughs> wow, I have been looking forward to seeing you all. Day. All you had to do was catch me on TV. I'm always live at five. <laughs> Daddy, um, I thought you and I were gonna hang out tonight. You know, like buddies. Uh, that's right. Yeah, we are buddies. And do you know what a buddy would do for a buddy who had a date? She just go. I don't know, Dad. Suddenly I'm not feeling very well. You better go. I don't want you to catch what I've got. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a lovely child you have. <laughs> well, since she's not feeling well, maybe I should just go. No, no, no. No, we'll no. talk later. No. No, 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 ladies, please, look, look. Ignore the demon child. <laughs> Brianna. What is with this nasty little attitude? I don't have a nasty little attitude. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, no, I don't. You were rude and you disrespected my guest. Come on, Daddy, stop tripping. Brianna, go to your room. Look at you trying to get all parental on a sister. <laughs> Brianna, you are grounded. How are you going to ground me? I thought we were buddies. Move it! She ain't going nowhere! Baseball players can't play in little rain. So one guy on the field got struck by lightning. So what, man? For the money they make, you could stick a lightning rod up my ass and I would still keep swinging. Look, I'm glad the game got rained out. It gives me some time to straighten things out with Brianna. I never had to punish her before. Yo, come on, dog. Don't sweat it, all right? I'm sure she heard you loud and clear. In here. Hello, the party you said I can have to make friends. Brianna, you are grounded. We had an understanding. Hey, I said I wouldn't leave the house, but they all came to me. 
You aren't going to deal with it. How? You going to shake me like a British nanny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you don't think there's going to be some changes around here, huh? Okay, so I'm going to have to treat you like my parents treated me. Get out of my sight. Wait a minute. Don't you yeah. eyeball me. So You're you talking just... back to me. Are you talking? I work too hard. Man, I'd be better off counting whales in Nova Scotia with mom. Man, all this talk about whales makes me want to go down to Lane Bryant and find myself a big bone girl. Which <laughs> Tanya, I'm so glad you're here. So, where's Brianna? Oh, she went to hang out with Dwayne for a while. I can see that. They act about the same age. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know one thing. She hates my guts. At least that's the message I got from the note she left me. Well, what did it say? I hate your guts. <laughs> It's a hard age. You know, you're too old to play with dolls, too young to be an adult. Let's give it some time. She'll come around. Well, how long did it take you? You know, I, I'm almost ready to have my first real conversation with my dad. <laughs> oh, really? Mm -hmm. well, who's your daddy now? <laughs> hey, guys. Seen Brianna? What? Well, uh, you see, we were at the movies, and I got hungry, so I went out to buy a box of Sour Patch Kids. But, you know, I already had a box of Melt Duds, and I wanted to cut the sweet. Do what happened? I went back, and she was gone. I only thought that happened with my dates. Okay, then I gotta find my baby. I gotta find my baby. We're gonna go back to the movie theater and see if anybody saw her, and we'll call the police on the way there. Now, I'm sure we're gonna find her. We found her. <laughs> Brianna, why did you run away from Dwayne? While I was sitting there and Dwayne was gone, so I asked myself, is this how it's gonna be? Me by myself, all the time. So I called Grandma and Grandpa and they came and got me. Why did you call me? Why? You don't care. What? Uh, Brianna, honey, why don't you take the ice cream and go to your room? Can I have sprinkles? Oh, no, baby, you're being punished. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me have it. For starters, why did you leave the child with Dwayne? Flex, you're the father, she's the daughter. Only one of you can act like you're 14. What am I supposed to do? I try being cool with her. I try being stern with her. Nothing works. Have you tried talking to her? Now, I know you're going to say, we never talked to you, but look how you turned out. For God's sake, learn from our mistake. <laughs> Are you saying I'm a mistake? Well, your mother was a young and beautiful school teacher, and I was in the army. Richard. That's another conversation, son. But I figured the best way to discipline her is to do what you guys did with me. Whip you with a hairbrush? No, Ma. Be tough. Lay down the law. Son, that's a bunch of bull. We did an awful job. Mm -hmm. Just look at you. <laughs> you were married at 18, you had a baby at 19, and you were divorced at 20. And I'll never forgive you for making me a grandmother at 32. 32? That's right. <laughs> The point is, you've got a daughter you hardly know. And you've got to fix that. Raising Brianna is a big responsibility, son. Are you sure you can handle it? Hey, what you doing? Playing one-on-none. On none. <laughs> OK, so how about we play a little game, OK? Every time one of us makes a shot, the other one has to answer a question, all right? So, uh, you think we got a shot at making this thing work? <laughs> Better than that shot you just took. Okay, so how about this? What were you trying to prove by running away? I don't answer any questions till you make a shot. Right, you're right, those are the rules. <laughs> My roof, my rules. <laughs> With Mom left, I thought everything was gonna be cool, like always. But I feel like I'm in the way and you don't want me here. Baby, you can never be in the way. And I know I've made some mistakes. But with your help, I know I can be a better father. So that means you're gonna stop seeing Tanya? No. <laughs> Because I'm also going to try to be a better single father. And I'm going to date. But, Brianna, you're the most important person in my life. Trust me, no woman can replace you in my heart. Oh. 
or apparently in my backcourt. <laughs> oh, she smiles. I haven't seen that in a while. <laughs> so look, there's gonna be some new rules around here, right? That's cool, as long as we can talk about them. Any topic, any time. Really? Um, why do you have a mirror over your bed? Uh, Daddy likes to shave while he's lying down. But it's gone tomorrow. Anything else? Uh, yeah, can my boyfriend... Nope. We just did. All right, check this out. Uh, Vince Carter, half court behind back, no look at look at. <clears throat> Flat at. Flat not. Okay. Kobe Bryant, take me to the prom after I do a crossover dribble. All right, girl, give up the rock. Come on now, give up the rock. What you got to give up? <laughs> Didn't want to have to go old school on you, but I think I just might have to. <laughs> Dr. J like an ABA with a big old fro. Mm -hmm. Telescopic, slam dunk, throw down. Go ahead. Morning, brethren, sisterin. <laughs> Guess who just happens to be my eighth cousin three times removed? The guy who played Leroy on Fame? <laughs> oh, my bad. He's got at least two feet on you. <laughs> now, I was fooling around on this genealogy website, and I found out that the very blood running through my veins is the same as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. That's right. <laughs> you know what that means, don't you? The information highway is gridlocked? <laughs> means that I am descended from greatness, destined to be an activist. I am picking up the torch of civil liberties and lighting the way for my oppressed peoples. That's, that's y'all. <laughs> well, Dwayne, you gonna lift us up all from your mama's basement. <laughs> you the man. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Frank's on. That old gas bag's the only thing standing between me and the lead sports anchor position. And one final thought. To all my fans who have been so supportive over the last 20 years, I bid you farewell. You see, the aliens spoke to me through my navel last night, and this reporter's been chosen to mate with their queen. So until the next millennium... I'm coming, Queen Tulipi. Poor guy. I hope he's all right. But on the brighter side... I'm in there, I'm moving on up like George Jefferson, say what, say what? Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one in uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around uh -huh. oh, yeah. I'll be there to think and then, why don't you live where you're Good morning, boss, and it is a good morning. <laughs> Undip me, you dip. <laughs> Just had to ship Frank off to the Sweet Dream Sanitarium, and trust me, it's not a very sweet place. Anyway, Frank is gone. I'm here. Give me the job. <laughs> Flex, it's not my choice. The station manager wants to see some other people as well. This is blatant racism. I'll have you know that I'm a close personal friend of a man who's distantly related to Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. <laughs> Stacy, love. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late. But then again, I figured, who else she gonna interview? <laughs> Flex, you know Red Galloway from Channel 14. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the man who exposed the use of steroids in figure skating? Please, that wasn't news. That Romanian girl did a victory lap holding her coach over her head. <laughs> You know, Flex, envy green is such an ugly color on you. But then again, so is that shirt, bro. Ooh, if we're talking about clothes, shouldn't you return those shoes to the Bolarama? Uh, Red, wait for me in my office, please. And by the way, sending me flowers, pretty transparent. Lucky for you, I like my butt kissed. 
Stacy, I have paid my dues at this station. I shouldn't have to kiss your butt for this job. Although I'd be happy to visit it on my own free time. <laughs> Look, Flex, the higher-ups want someone who will go the extra mile to get the story. You saying I have to audition? Yes. You and Red have a week to come back with a hot story. Best one gets the job. I should quit. <laughs> I should do a lot of other things, too. Good day. <laughs> You got the part of Catherine. That's Tori's fella thing you did with your hair, girl. Amazing. Girl, no, you're the amazing when you did it all with real hair. <laughs> Attention! I've made my decisions for Shakespeare night. The selected scenes from The Taming of the Shrew. If you didn't get the part you wanted, get used to it. That's showbiz. <laughs> But Arna, as you were the only guy who tried out. Yeah, but that girl from the field hockey team was really good. Congratulations, Brianna. You got the part of Catherine. Oh, really? Oh, I... It's cool. It, it, it's no big deal. The hell is not? I need to kiss you. Well, I'm your understudy. Which is almost worse than not getting a part. No, being an understudy is, is awesome. See, you get all the fun. Mm -hmm. While I get all the pressure, who's the lucky one here? <laughs> Thanks. Come here, girl. Uh, come here. I guess I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Never mind. It may not be, and it cannot be. Let me entreat you. Wait, hold up. I mean, who talks like this? What does entreat you mean? Uh, I think it means we kiss. <laughs> uh-uh. Understudy? Oh, man. Mm. Uh, uh. <laughs> Y'all call that acting? Spirit, if you're gonna be my understudy, you have to kiss with a little more feeling. Yeah, so you're right. Come on, let's show her how we do it. Go away. <laughs> Daddy, this is the closed rehearsal. Uh, Brianna, the only thing I want to see closed is your mouth. <laughs> well, maybe we should rehearse in my house. Yeah. Nah, you know what? I'm all shakespeare out. Y'all go without me. Okay. Oh, and Arnaz, uh, can you try to say your lines without spitting on people? Thank you. <laughs> Lydia, I'm, I'm sorry if I embarrassed you. I'm just in a bad mood. They're making me audition for the lead sports anchor position. I shouldn't have to prove myself. I am more seasoned than a... A, a Jeffrey Dahmer dinner guest. Same here. I mean, what's wrong with the world? They don't know who we be. They ain't know. Black boys and black girl, I have been to the promised land. Ooh, was Tupac there? Did you know we have a Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in this very town? So does any town with more than 20 black people. But my cousin needs a more substantial tribute. That's why I give you the Harbor Tunnel. Makes sense. Harry Tubman had a railroad. Precisely. That's why I propose renaming said tunnel the Martin Luther King Jr. Tunnel of Enlightenment. <laughs> I must leave now so as to hasten my mission. I will see you at the mountains out. Good luck, bro. We shall overcome, dog. We shall overcome. Ma'am, I don't care if he is gay. Those are not the kind of stories we do here at WYNX. Who's gay? And how soon can we get it on the air? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, this is a news station, not Gossip Hour at Aunt Clara's Press and Weave. Man, you can learn a lot of good stuff at a beauty salon. That's where I found out a certain New York shortstop has more illegitimate kids than Sean Kemp. You don't have any standards, do you? And you don't have any Emmys, do you? No, but I have an employee of the month. <laughs> Yeah, it's red. Look, uh, 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 I don't want to hear that crap. Look, just get me something juicy on one of your buddies. Or my next report is going to read star college athlete exposed for illegally accepting money from alumni loses promise in NBA future. I know it's too long for a headline, Lou Grant. <laughs> just give me the information. Stacy. What if I told you that Red was using sleazy tactics to get a story? 
Really? Mm -hmm. Then I'd say the only job he's eligible for here is lead sports anchor. <laughs> okay. I'll get low down and dirty. <laughs> I hope this doesn't keep me out of heaven. <laughs> whispering about I'm saving my voice it's a trick us stars do <laughs> me Celine Diana will miss Ross to you but what do you want I've rewritten the play it needed a little punching and updating but you can't rewrite Shakespeare you're not even in the 10th grade don't think of it as a rewrite think of it as a remix <laughs> I gave Big Willie Chase some flavor. Look, I don't think this is a good idea. Honey, your job is to understudy, not think. Now run along and pass those out. She's out of control. The girl has rewritten Shakespeare. Did she cut the kiss? Oh, oh I'm still in there. Oh, thank God. Please take your marks for the beginning of rehearsal. Let's start with the wedding scene between Petruchio and Catherine. Um, Arnez and Brianna, are you ready? Catherine, or should I say Special K? I'll buy you Versace and Prada new. So love me too, because this thug needs a shrew. I love you, boo. But I need a bands too. I know that I'm the finest in the nation. But I can't deal with all this hateration. What was that? I just made a few changes in the play. Just keeping it real. Well, well how about just keeping it Shakespeare? You know, everything the man wrote wasn't gold. Was he a personal friend? Is there anyone here who can explain Catherine's character and her motivation? The non-Tupac version. <laughs> Catherine's misunderstood. She's a strong woman, but everybody thinks she's just a bitter shrew. Actually, she's a sensitive soul who's always been second to her sister in her father's eyes. It's obvious you fully understand Catherine's character. Spirit, you take over the role of Catherine. Brianna will be your understudy. That's how I keep it real. <laughs> Brianna will be who? My understudy. <laughs> now, run along, Miss Ross. <laughs>
but I'll find a way. All right? Hey, you up kind of late. Can't sleep. I can tell from that look on your face that uh, you need me to do the Cosby thing. Come on, sit down, Theo. <laughs> I just can't believe Spirit would betray me. Stealing my part like that. Now, did she steal it or did your ego give it away? When Dr. Gilks called me tonight, she told me you had more attitude than Jennifer Lopez, but one third the booty. I was just trying to make the play better. Nobody understands me. It's tough being a diva. <laughs> Baby, I love you, but you're tripping. Dad, whose side are you on? Sweetie, you only get a handful of real friends in your life. Don't let your ego make you lose one. Okay? Do the right thing. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Theo. <laughs> Don't let the bed bugs bite. Hey, Ernest. Oh, good thing you're here. Come you need to talk to Spirit. She's so nervous, I think she's gonna lose her stomach. And I have to kiss her. I'm good, but I ain't that good. <laughs> All right, I guess that's my cue. Is my tail properly placed between my legs? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't do this kind of my way of bouncing. Spirit, you can do this. You know this part better than Dr. Gibbs, and she used to date Shakespeare. I can't go out there with all those people looking at me. But you've done plays before. I was a munchkin in the Wiz and a tumbleweed in Oklahoma. <laughs> we have never been the lead. What? Wait a minute, when did I start speaking to you? Spirit, I've been watching you rehearse. You're a great actress. I know you're gonna go out there and be amazing. You really get this Shakespeare stuff. I'm scared. Don't. I'll be right here in the wings if you need me. Go ahead, girl. Break a leg. Come, sit on me. Asses are made to bear, and so are you. Women are made to bear, and so are you. No such jade as you, if me, you mean. Alas, good Kate, I will not burden thee for knowing thee to be but young and light. Too light for such a swain as you to catch, and yet as heavy as my weight should be. They're undefeated on the field, but Baltimore State's football team takes an academic beating, which, strangely enough, does not show up in any NCAA records. We'll see you guys on the sideline. If you can read the directions to the next game. <laughs> this is Red Galloway, reminding you that if Red Galloway isn't on your TV, then your TV probably ain't really on. And we're clear. Red, that was a fabulous audition. Well, Red Galloway does not disappoint. <laughs> Remember that when you're eating soup for one on Saturday night, baby. <laughs> so what happened to Flip? Well, if you mean flex, I guess he's a no-show. Maybe he just isn't hungry. Oh, no. Flex is hungry. <laughs> In fact, he's hungry for some red pie. <laughs> Got a little surprise for you. Red, you remember Ishmael Porter, don't you? You don't know who you're dealing with, kid. You don't want this to get ugly. Uh, looked in the mirror lately? Too late. <laughs> Three. Good evening, Baltimore. This is Flex Washington, and tonight I'm joined by B State's star point guard, Ishmael Porter. Ishmael, it's come to my attention that you've been involved in accepting money from B State's Booster Club. Yeah, I, I accepted money to help my family. But you realize NCAA rules prohibit student athletes from accepting money. I know that. And I was wrong. I got in over my head, and then someone started blackmailing me. Oh, really? <laughs> Would it be that man? <laughs> the man known as Red Galloway? <laughs> he lied! <laughs> then who did I witness blackmailing Ishmael in a dark, dank alley? I wouldn't know, because I wasn't there. Yeah, but yeah, well, I got a good friend and a man in the dumpster who could prove you wrong. <laughs> so tell me, Ishmael, what made you come forward? Well, you cornered me in that alley. After that, after that. <laughs> well, it was one thing accepting money. But when Red had me dropping dime on my friends, it, it wasn't cool. 
So what are you gonna do now, Ishmael? Well, maybe DeVry might be starting a basketball team. <laughs> well, I, I wish you luck, Ishmael. <laughs> this is Flex Washington saying, keep your noses clean, Baltimore, or I have to wipe them. <laughs> like that? And we're clear. Yo, you cannot do this to me. Man, I'm Red Galloway. I'm the one that... You are leaving. Flex beat you, Red. Better luck next time. You heard the lady. Get to stepping, and we're not validating your parking either. <laughs> okay, okay. I tell you what. You may not like what I do, but you'll never beat me to a story. Or oh, in bowling either. Why are you in those shoes again? <laughs> hey, Ishmael. Look, if you need me to say anything to the disciplinary committee, just let me know, man. Hey, thanks, Flex. I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders, and I can start over. By the way. For $50, I can tell you all about the athletic director. Uh, bro, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Force of habit. Lex, congratulations. You are the new lead sports anchor. And we're going to run this story on Live at Five. Oh, well, I'm very pleased. And thanks for the opportunity. But uh, I have to get back to you with my answer. You are kidding, right? Oh, you know it, baby. <laughs> Anchor. <laughs> Mr. Untouchable, you can't push me around any more. <laughs> yes, but I'm still your boss. <laughs> I can work with that. <laughs> hey, what happened to you, man? Man, sit ins ain't what they used to be. It was just me and my mama, and we both got hit by cars. Uh, cars in the Harbor Tunnel. What's next? Trains in the subway? Man, a navigator took me out. But I'm afraid the Yugo that hit my mama didn't fare so well. Hey, well, look, at least you embraced the cause and you stuck to it. Your cousin would be proud of you. Yes, he would. Although we didn't get the tunnel named after him. But you know that stretch of highway that runs along the middle institution? Yeah. Got that named after Mariah Carey. <laughs> Last time on One on One. It's my first lead role. My first step towards Broadway. I wouldn't miss something that's important to you. Saturday is opening night and closing night, too. Big Sal shut down about a week ago. Baby, I'm out of a job. Well, I thought I was moving in with somebody that I cared about and that I trusted. Not a liar. Can we do this another time? I really have to get to my daughter's play. Uh, I'm on a plane tonight. I'd like to take care of this right <laughs> yeah. now. You can't just throw it all away now, Flex. Let's go, Nash. Ah! Let me call my daughter. Do you know that my dad didn't even show up? Why don't you come to New York with me? Dear Daddy, I'm catching a train to New York to follow my dreams. I love you. Right about now, you should feel swell in the presence of a guy that's got to pull it out. Hey, the natives cranky. Oh, cranky? No, they're not cranky. Everybody's in a hurry. Everybody has a place to go. Don't you feel it? The excitement, the energy. We're gonna run just run over my foot. I don't know. But it looks like the circus is coming to town. <laughs> this coming from a girl just like a motorcycle mama song? <laughs> For all of your Gotham City needs. Glinda, stylist and fairy godmother to the stars. You ever need a wish granted? You know who to call. Who? <laughs> I see which one you are. Scrolls the new Bond Dutch. No one wears hugs in the summer. This isn't LA. <laughs> and here's a flashlight. So you don't have to dress in the dark anymore. <laughs> She disappeared. That's the magic of New York. I can feel it in the air. Our names are gonna be in light. You hear that, New York? We're here! <laughs> Thank you and good night! Sometimes in the sky, you can feel all by yourself. Yeah, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate. 
get yourself when there's nobody around. Oh, oh yeah. I'll be there. You are driving too fast. Well, you can always hop on your broom and meet us there. Uh, Candy used to love to speed. <laughs> she had a heavy foot. <laughs> but then, what would you expect from a woman who has a size 15 shoe? <laughs> Dwayne, you came with me to get your goddaughter and to get your mind off of Candy. Now, stop talking about Bigfoot. You know, I still can't believe that my spirit lied to me, talking about she and Arnez were going on an incense run. I should have known she was lying when she didn't take her bulletproof poncho. <laughs> Arnez is with him? Oh. Oh, okay, Flex, Flex, I don't want to die without you knowing this is all your fault. My fault? Yes, yes, if you had gone to your daughter's play instead of chasing down some Bucci, we wouldn't be stuck in this car with you know who. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Where else but New York can you get pizza after midnight for a buck? <laughs> eat up, ladies. With the 300 bucks Spirit gave me, we can eat pizza for the next 300 days. Are you brain dead? There's three of us. Ooh, times three. 900 days. Arne, sweetie, were you just dumb in Baltimore? Yes, <laughs> that's why I came along. He's dumb and you're sheltered. You guys don't have the heart for this. And you do? Has either of you ever been to the South Bronx to pick up Trinidadian patchouli? <laughs> it's my mom. It's my dad. <laughs> It's my Dwayne. <laughs> oh, now my dad cares. Sorry, Daddy, now I'm busy. Hey, guys, let's make a pact. No talking to our parents or our Dwayne. <laughs> Agreed? Agreed. Scissors. <laughs> no answer. Me neither. Oh, oh, I'm leaving a message. Uh, hey, Arnaz, have you talked to Candy? If you have, give me a call. All right, bye. <laughs> And those ungrateful kids. Oh, wait till I get my hands on spirit. She will wish that she was never water birthed. <laughs> wait till I get my hands on candy. I'm gonna. <laughs> Arnaz, will you keep up? We have to stay together. We're not in Baltimore anymore. That's right. We're on Broadway. <laughs> I'm tired. Where are we gonna sleep, Arnaz? Well, I figured we'd stay with my boy Butter. Remember him? He used to moose his hair with Butter. I'd rather stay at a youth hostel. A hostel? Why would you want to stay someplace that's violent? God, he's getting dumber by the second. What did I ever see in him? And I'm back in. All right. Flex, I have to go to the bathroom. Can't we at least stop once? No. We're not even in Philly yet, man. We can't afford to lose time. Candy would have let me go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Would you pull over? Pull hey, over! Get, don't you pull on this steering wheel. This isn't a teacup ride at Rasta World. Now go. I'm not going out there. It's dark. <laughs> you better get out of this car! Now I gotta do two things. We're losing time. We got two hours to go. Now, where did I go wrong? My baby's a runaway. She's in New York. She, she, she could be sold into white slavery right now. Or even worse, she could be dancing in a Twister video. Your love is my love. And my love is your love. Said your love is my love. The world, her, yeah. So won't you freak, 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 freak? If you see, 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 see. Won't you freak, freak? Free, 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 free. Be my girl. Yeah. That's my boy. We go way back. Hey, butter! <laughs> Do I know you? <laughs> yeah, man, it's me, Arnez. Fifth period band at Kenley High. You stuck drumsticks down my pants? <laughs> oh, nazi <nasty> pants. <laughs> What's up? Everybody need my homie Nazi pants. Hey! Hey! 
These are my friends, Brianna and Spirit. We're all here to follow our dreams, just like you did. Well, you came to the right place. We got plenty of room, y'all. You're welcome to stay. Thanks. <laughs> welcome to paradise. But we don't judge, we just experience. <laughs> Join us! Wow, look at this place. It's just how I imagined it would be. Artists bonding in the name of art. <laughs> it's like rent. It's like Labo him. It's like friends, except with some black people. <laughs> oh, sorry, Daddy. I'm never coming back. I found my home. <laughs> if you see, 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 won't you free, 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 be my girl? Yeah, yeah, come on, free, 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 free. If you see, 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 won't you free, 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 be my girl? Yeah. I love New York, yeah, 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 yeah. Why is it so hot in here? Man, because the air conditioning stopped working. That's why I'm in line for the tub. I want to get in and cool off while I can still see the bottom. <laughs> why don't these people just go home and take baths? Girl, look around. They are home. <laughs> Your shoes are hot. <laughs> hey, Butter. We could sell these shoes for food. Huh? Give me those shoes. Stop it! Our hands! Our hands, we gotta wake up! Our Bohemian Paradise is turned into a bad reality show. This is reality, Brianna. We're artists. We have to suffer for our art. That's why I slept on this fork. Our hands, snap out of it! I came here to live out my dreams, to be a star on Broadway. Yeah, you guys just got here. Chill. <laughs> Remind me of Sarah. She moved in with us right out of Juilliard, expecting to go right to Broadway. And I got there. You did? Yeah. The McDonald's on Broadway in 56. <laughs> I'm the understudy for the Fry Guy. <laughs> Look, the point is, you don't happen in New York. New York happens to you. So, what do you guys do in the meantime? Just hang out here? Sometimes I hang here. Sometimes I gig at the Canal Street Station on the Uptown platform next to the tap dancer with one foot. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe one day I'll get discovered. Well, one day is not good enough for me. I did not come all the way to New York to sling fries and hang out with my left foot. <laughs> come on, guys. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Uh-uh. Girl, before I lose my place in line, what is your plan? <laughs> Gigi! Linda, is that you? Oh, sorry. I also work at air conditioners. You need to go see P. Diddy. Why P. Diddy? If you want to make it as an actress, and you want to make it as a musician, and you want to make it in fashion, then <laughs> there's only one man who can help you. That's it. P. Diddy. We're off to see P. Diddy. Come on, spirit. Come on, Arnaz. <laughs> um, excuse me, Glenda. Just one more thing. Um, how do we see P. Diddy, and why isn't anybody else coming? Different godmother. Technically, you arrived in the West Village. Those kids are from the East Village, and they're not my problem. Now, come on, girl. We've got to ease on down to Broadway. <laughs> Why are we stopping in the village? Look, Leilani, I just have to air out my truck. Your, your natural deodorant is stretching my limit. You know what? I'm going to try to find a signal. Hurry up. Ooh, peanuts. Yes. Peanuts. Uh, Candy used to love to read peanuts. She used to call me her little womp, 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 womp. Candy, candy, candy. I'm sick of hearing about candy. You need to move on, brother. I can't help it. I mean, I feel her presence all around me. I see candy. I keep getting her voicemail. Right, that's it. We got to go to the police. There's a cop right there towing your car. Candy? God. Ooh. Now I got to go save both my babies. And I paid 75 grand for that one. I can't take it, dog. It's hot. Our kids are missing. And I got visions of candy dancing in my head. We ain't going to find nobody. Our hopes are dried up like 
like a raisin in the sun. <laughs> raisin in the sun? She went to Broadway. <laughs> yeah, if I know Brianna, that's where she is. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, taxi. Here we are. Emerald Palace. You'll find it inside for his one night only encore performance of A Raisin in the Sun. A Raisin in the Sun? I love A Raisin in the Sun. But one ticket is $200. Arnez, how much money do we have left? None. I gave it all to Butter for letting us spend the night. He didn't want to take it, but I insisted. <laughs> <laughs> I have an extra ticket. Oh my God, <gasps> that's well fair. But wait, I can't go without my friends. You should be the one to go, Brianna. I mean, the theater's your dream. Yeah, and I don't want to see a play about raisins anyway, even if they do dance. <laughs> Shall we? Candy, baby, you finally come back to me. <laughs> After we save the children. I'm gonna make sweet, sweet love to you. <laughs> ah! Not without 12 goats and a better of cheese. I don't think so. <laughs> hey, listen, you can get your goat on after you take us to the Emerald Palace right away. Oh, you're going to see P. Diddy. You know, I saw him. You saw him in the Raisin in the Sun? No, sister. I saw him sweating in the sun. When he ran that marathon, ah, that bobo can go. Hey, hey, enough of the chatter, Mother Africa. Take us to find my daughter. <laughs> First act was so amazing. If you're crying now, you're going to lose it in the second act. Cause Diddy loses all that money. <laughs> Oops. Did I give it away? No, it's just that this play is all about family and home. And I ran away from mine. Why did I do that? You don't have to be a fairy godmother to know you're going to tell me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell you why I ran away. I ran away because my daddy doesn't care about me. All he cares about is his career. Sounds like a very selfish guy. You don't know him. My daddy is the best daddy in the whole world. And he just wanted to make a home for me. And how do I thank him? I run away like some ungrateful brat. I thought you were chasing your dreams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but after I went to Butters, I realized that I can make the same mistakes they did. They all came to New York to follow their dreams. But they came too soon. They weren't ready, and neither am I. I want to go home. Click your heels three times. Oh, that'll get me home. No, but it will get that gum off your shoe. <laughs> What's up? Glenda? Oil rags by Spears. Oil rags by Spears? Uh-uh. Hey, oil rags by Donna Karen. Donna Karen? <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me, Spirit, you can't sell things on the street without a permit. Who told you that? Those cops chasing me. Run! <laughs> oh, hold tight, I'll catch you! Emerald Palace, get out. <laughs> New York City. Just look, just look at the hoodlums running. How fast Wait a minute! Fast. Those are the hoodlums. Freedom, Frank Jones! Oh my God, get back here! Hey, the lady, her goats and cheese. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay, that'll be 10 50. Uh. You don't accept Costco, do you? <laughs> name, Spirit! It was great! I saw P. did and he helped me realize that I want to go home! Don't you want to go home? Guys! Hello? Come on, guys, this is not funny! Okay, I know what this is. This is Scare Brianna. Okay, I'll play the floor. Guys! Daddy! Daddy, where are you? Where I've always been. Right behind you. Daddy! Oh, my baby! I missed you so much. Oh, I missed you so much, too. Wait a minute, don't be hugging me yet. <laughs> I was worried sick about you. Look, I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm sorry I ran away. I was just mad at you for missing my play. And I got tired of you always being too busy for me. Baby, I'm sorry that I missed your play, and I'm sorry that I was so busy, but everything I've been doing, I've been doing it for us. And yes, I've made some mistakes. Baby, you can't run away every time we have a problem. We have to talk it out. Cool? Cool. Now nah, you can hug me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see you found yours. 
Mine's gonna cost me a $200 fine for panhandling without a license. Mom, I'll pay you back. Oh, I know that's right. What were you thinking, Spirit? I am not Mr. Washington. I pay attention to you. <laughs> Mom, I had to come. They needed me to be the urban goddess you taught me to be, to show them the way. Oh, that's my baby. That's right. <laughs> oh, did you get some incense? You ran away with my daughter, Arnaz. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't choke the life out you. Hmm? Come on, Daddy. You know it's not his fault. All right. Look, everybody, let's just come on. Let's go home. I am home. Arnaz, what are you saying? Look, Brianna, it's different for me in Baltimore. I'm not lucky like you in spirit. You guys have parents who are there for you, and all I got is me. Oh, Arnez, we can't leave you here. Look, I'm 18, I can take care of myself. Arnez, this is a big decision. You're gonna live in this city all alone with just your guitar? Boy, that's sad. Look, Mr. Washington, you made big decisions when you were 18. Everything turned out okay for you. Here, son. Just a little something to hold you over for a while. Now, listen, if you need anything, okay, anything at all, you give us a call, all right? All right, you heard the boy, he's there. Let's break out. You are someone. Take this walk with you and see your face my whole life through. Oh my god, is he getting worse? It's like he's taking unvoiced lessons. So, what are you and Dim Shady doing for New Year's? Well, it's our first together as a couple, so I want it to be special. Ooh, and Teen Vogue says it's Trey Chic to throw couples parties. And Teen Vogue also said a new haircut would get me a date. You'll have fun. Somebody has to count down as the couples prepare to kiss. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We'll do couples and singles. Maybe Zomra can perform. Charlie and I can sing the song that I'm working on. Oh, that's nice, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the good old days when Charlie was just a boy's name and not an annoying French girl? <laughs> oh, bleh, 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 oh, no. <laughs> You can feel all by yourself Check, one, two. But I have a partner But I can't turn no one in uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself When there's nobody around uh, oh yeah. I'll be there to think and then Why don't you live where you're from? Uh -huh. Maybe you can live Maybe one, 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 one. Yeah. Can't nobody break this bond yeah. Yeah. So, Flex, who are you ringing in the New Year with? I gotta tell you, D, I'm thinking of spending New Year's Eve alone. There's nobody I want to be with. Ah, Flex is tired. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, don't look now. I, I said don't look. But that lying, two-faced, manipulative little man is sitting right behind us. 
Ooh, and Wayne's here, too. <laughs> you know, you might be too hard on the guy. He seems very sweet. Uh, I thought that once. Before he put a tracking device in my car, hinted I was a gold digger and stalked me. No. Yes, girl, I had to change my pin number five times because of him. <laughs> hey, since when did Candy and Danielle start hanging out? Well, Candy does her nails every Saturday, then they come over here for coffee after stopping at the ATM. You want Candy's new pen number? Oh, <laughs> uh, so there's no coincidence that we're here. Man, man I miss my Candy. Man, she hasn't spoken to me in months. What do you mean, man? I've heard her say such popular phrases as get the heck away from me and shut up, shorty, and midget, please. <laughs> uh, how I miss Candy's terms of endearment. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna ask her out for New Year's Eve. Maybe you should ask out Danielle. Man, I told you I'm rolling solo for New Year's, man. Besides, she has a rule about dating her patients, even the really good-looking ones. <laughs> well, looks like, do me a favor. Go over there and ask Candy if she has New Year's Eve plans. Oh, man, this isn't the fifth grade. Come on, flex. If you don't, I'll go over there and tell Danielle that you like her, like her. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I got it. I'll go. But only because I'm taller. Taller people are more convincing. <laughs> Ah, hello, lady. Oh, ah, what do we have here? Mm -hmm. Cook up a date for New Year's Eve. You know, you can always call for takeout because uh, I do deliver. <laughs> Somebody hold him down. <laughs> Look, this is a fundraiser for orphans. Now, the women cook a dish and the men bid on it. The highest bidder gets the dish and a date for New Year's Eve with the woman who made it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like an escort service with food. <laughs> you know, if you're not doing anything, you should come by. Well, I would, but I already have plans. I mean, what loser doesn't have plans on New Year's Eve? Mm. Hello? <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Candy, you are a sight for lonely, tear-stained eyes. Mm. Midget, please. <laughs> Danielle, let's go. Uh, I guess we're leaving. Uh, Dwayne, if you want to talk, call me. That midget thing had to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Cook up a date for New Year's Eve? Man, some people are so desperate. <laughs> hey, girls, what are you doing? Oh, we're making a banner for the New Year's Eve party we're having here. Which I haven't asked him about yet. <laughs> hey, Daddy. <laughs> Look, I know you want me to be safe on New Year's Eve, and, and what's safer than the house you provide for me? And should I have asked you first? Sure, but Spirit blew it. <laughs> All right, you can have your little house party, but uh, the usual rules do apply. No drinking, no drugs, and no baby making. <laughs> but with one addendum. Get spirit kissed at midnight. Oh, it's getting sad. <laughs> hey, French girl, boy, hippie dude. I heard about your little party you're having. I got cameras everywhere. See y'all. Hey, baby. Oh. <laughs> All right. Good news. Charlie got the band his first paying gig down at that new coffee house, Bean There. And there might be some record levels there. The bad news is the gig's on New Year's Eve, so we'll miss your party. But wait. If you're not here, you and I can't kiss at midnight. So you kiss later. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I don't know what they do in your country, but here, the person you kiss at midnight is the person you're gonna spend your year with. Uh, <laughs> sweetie? <laughs> don't be silly. I didn't kiss Spirit last year, yet everywhere I go, there she is. Yeah, you sure have a lot of rules, Bridget. <laughs> That's not how you love. Love is free. <laughs> yeah. Well, my man pays for his love. <laughs> well, wait, that didn't come out right. Look, how about we take care of this right now and we all just start kissing? I am not that desperate. Yet. Uh, <laughs> excuse us. Why should I have to change my plans because Charlie booked a gig? Brianna, this is a paying gig. And even though my dad's paying my rental graduation, Butter and I have bills to pay. You think it's cheap living in this apartment? Come on, guys, let's go. Speaking of going, we're out of toilet paper. <laughs> Dwayne, what are you doing? 
Uh, I'm going through Candy's trash. Duh. <laughs> I'm looking for clues as to what dish she's making. You brought Candy's trash all the way over here, but you couldn't take it into your own apartment. Ma <laughs> Do you have any idea how bad this stuff smells? Look, smell my hand. Come on, man. <laughs> Yam scrap. <laughs> that combined with the marshmallows and the brown sugar and this discarded How to Make Yams video. <laughs> I think she's making candy yams. Well, I gotta tell you, Dwayne, <laughs> you have stooped to an all-time low on this one. You gotta be pretty desperate to dig through somebody's trash, man. Flex, I don't have any aspirin. Uh, uh, that's okay. It's, it's more of a, a stomach, throat, foot thing. <laughs> Man, she's got nothing but Neiman Marcus catalogs in here. No wonder she rents. Ooh, a recipe for ambrosia salad. Flat down? Uh, here's some antacid. Why is my trash can on my coffee table? I was wondering the same thing. Girl, you're gonna have to learn to keep house. You'll never get a man. <laughs> I'm supporting local orphans. I, I thought you said you didn't need a date for New Year's. Oh, why well, just have a date when you can have a date and a dish? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder who it will be. <laughs> and the highest bidder on the candied yams is Dwayne Odell Knox. What? Do it like a play, huh? <laughs> Which means that his New Year's Eve date will be Danielle Price. <laughs> what? <laughs> She, she made the ambrosia salad. Are you calling me a liar? I'm, I'm saying. <laughs> but since you asked, the ambrosia salad has the distinction of being the highest bid upon plate tonight, uh -oh. which is at $2,000 by Flex Washington. <laughs> which means that his New Year's Eve date will be Candace Taylor. Candace Taylor? Who the hell is Candace Taylor? <laughs> $2,000 for candy? What? No! No, 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 this isn't right. There's been a huge mistake. You made the yams. Listen, don't tell me what I made, Keebler. <laughs> now, Danielle baked the yams at my house, and I used her ambrosia salad recipe. Well, how am I supposed to know that by going through your garbage? <laughs> you went through my garbage? Say who garbage, say what? What? <laughs> what kind of man digs through trash? What? Yeah. What kind of man? Ladies, ladies, look, we're here for one reason only, and that's to keep the orphans from catching fire. <laughs> we should do this. Oh, but, uh, I don't... Dwayne, it's for the children. Look, Candy and I will go out and we're gonna have a great time, and you and Danielle should try to do the same. Well, Flex, just so you know, I do want to go somewhere expensive. Someplace that has those fancy onion loaves. <laughs> you know, I'm looking forward to this, Dwayne. I think we'll have fun. Yeah. Yeah, be ready by eight. I found the boy I'm gonna be exchanging saliva with at midnight. Who, the boy who brought his own Funyuns? Yeah, it must be nice anticipating your New Year's Eve kiss with someone special. Well, I mean, I haven't spoken to him yet. I know, Spirit. That was my way of focusing the conversation on me. Arnez and I should be together on New Year's Eve, and why aren't we because of Charlie? Brianna, what's going on with you? I don't know. Being in love makes you feel so vulnerable. You end up doing crazy things. You'll find out someday. <laughs> but I'm about to go down there and get my man. Brianna, you're gonna leave your own party? A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Hey! <whistles> Listen up! We gotta step out for a minute. Don't take or break anything. My daddy has cameras everywhere. Oh, and, 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 and find your boys a narc. <laughs> and my new boyfriend. Uh, uh, so you like mm. the best onion loaves in town? Uh, yes, this is nice. You know, I admit, I never got the whole flex thing. <laughs> but I 
see now how you make an impression on a lady. <laughs> a bottle of your most expensive champagne. You like? <laughs> I found this place on the internet. <laughs> Flex. It... Dwayne? Oh, what a co-winky thing. <laughs> oh, uh... You got to be kidding me. Mm -mm. We see right through you and the pink one. <laughs> Now, I don't know about you, but I'm leaving. What, wait, 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 wait. What are you going to do? Go home and sit around in your brand new dress and eat haagen because you're hot for your client who lives in your building? <gasps> oh, so you are feeling flex. Building who, client say what? Uh, uh, listen, uh, the maitre d' said that he only has one table left, so uh, we're going to have to sit together. Well, I'm not sitting next to the hobbit. <laughs> you think you're pretty smooth, don't you? No. <laughs> Not at all. Rose for the lady. <laughs> Flex, I'm not your date. Oh, I know. Dwayne, pay for that right there. <laughs>
You had me at big feet. Oh. <laughs> okay, so uh, how much longer are we gonna keep doing this dance? Um, well, that depends. You're gonna keep stepping on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> but not this dance. I'm talking about the dance we've been doing for the past couple of months. Oh. Well, I hope you're wearing comfortable shoes because this dance could take a long time. And trust me, I'm with it. Oh, you gotta go there with it. Oh, all right. you see me and seeing as you had seen me I saw that I had to come see you see why did you kiss her back I didn't well you didn't stop her Brianna she's French she'll kiss anything <laughs> besides what was I supposed to do hit her with my guitar that's what I would have done uh, why are you being so jealous because I see you up there doing your thing women throwing themselves at you I mean that's how it is when you're a rock star rock god well, what am I supposed to do? Trust me. Look, Brianna, what we have is special. And nobody can break us up but us. And I don't want that to happen. But I don't want you to keep acting like you'd rather be up there doing your rock star thing than be with me. Brianna, it's midnight. Bands across town playing the game. Game. Where am I? Happy New Year. I see the place is still in one piece. But what's that smell? No way. <laughs> Bunions. <laughs> Have a nice night? Oh, everything's been perfect so far, except for one thing. What time is it? Uh, 1.59. Oh, well, it's almost midnight in Denver, which means it's not too late. For what? For me to give my favorite girl a kiss. Happy New Year's, baby. Happy New Year's, Denver. Mm -hmm. uh... Funny boy, come back! 